Hi, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. Now today, I want to talk to you about something. It's kind of important. Do people come up to you and say, what are you doing on that website? What are you doing with the cream cheese? Because I do, and I tell them all about it, and then I tell them about Living Richly. That is so cool. I just love that magazine, and I read it every day. And I tell people, go on there and see it. And they say, why do I need to read Living Richly? Why do I? What's with me? I'm good enough. And you know what? I say there's a way to tell. There's a way to tell if you should be reading Living Richly for its tips, its cooking, its kids and family and all those kind of things. So while I make my recipe today, I'm going to give you some answers on if you should be reading Living Richly. So if you need Philly and you need Living Richly, we're going to find out. So I'm going to make today our bean salad. Now this is a bean salad with a garlic dressing and this is great. It's healthy, it's tasty, and it's fun. And everybody knows it's fun. Now, if your homemade bread is used for a doorstop, you probably need to read Living Wretchly. Now, we're gonna start with the beans. Now, to make the bean salad, we put in a can of beans. I like red beans. You can use kidney beans, red beans, pink beans, Black beans, you got to rinse them first or everything kind of turns a nasty color. But you can use whatever kind of beans that you like. Now, if your dog is running to the neighbors every time it's dinner time, you might need to use Living Richly. You know, every time your family hears a fire whistle go off, they run to the dinner table, you might need to use Living Richly. So then we add one medium-sized green pepper. This is great because this is a relatively large jalapeno, chopped really finely so it isn't really hot. If you call your mother to ask her how long to boil the cabbage for coleslaw, you probably need to read Living Richly. Hint again. And then, this is one pint of little cherry tomatoes, little tiny ones. They're a lot of fun. Some people like to cut them in half. I like them whole. I like that whole taste of it in my mouth. If anyone has ever broken a tooth on your homemade yogurt, you probably need to read Living Richly every day. Now, we're going to get those things in there. We're going to add scallions. This is three medium-sized scallions. It is so pretty when you get these all mixed if up. If the EPA requires your garbage bags to be labeled with those red biohazard papers, you probably need to read Living Richly. <laughs> Take note of these now. Why aren't you reading Living Richly? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the creamy garlic sauce. This is really if easy. If your kids know that peas porridge in a pot nine days old, if they know what that means, you're probably needing to read Living Richly. Now in their blender, chopper, mixer, food processor, whatever you got like that, put a half a cup of vegetable broth, a little bit of white wine vinegar, it's a light vinegar. I'm gonna use two tablespoons, two, a dash, just a dash of hot sauce, Tabasco. If your leftover crumbs from your cookies can be used for kitty litter, you probably need to read Living Richly. Tomato paste, half of one of these little jobs, these little six ounce, use three ounces, just half of it. Pinch of thyme, just in time. And then, Ta-da! Garlic flavored cooking cream. This is a garlic dressing sauce, easily made with this. Throw some things into it, put it on some vegetables, put it on some beans, put it on your choice of things. It makes a great, great, great salad dressing. It makes a great dressing for vegetable salads and this makes a summertime side dish that can't be beat. 
If you barbecue with two kids on either side of you holding squirt guns and one with 911 on fast call, you probably need to read Living Richly. And then you put in this garlic flavored cooking cream. This has the greatest balance of flavors to it. I didn't have to add garlic to have garlic dressing because it's already in there. So much is already in there. This is incredible. You add what you want to add to it and Makes you it give great. it a whirl. And there you go. And pour this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful concoction onto your vegetables. Toss them gently or toss them rough. <laughs> However you feel like it, put them in a big bowl and just toss them around if it makes you feel better. And this makes a great summertime garlic, onion, green pepper, bean, and tomato salad like you can't believe. It is great. And if you love your family and you love cooking and you love Philly, make sure you tune in to Living Richly every day. It's got so many great tips, so many cooking hints, things to do with the kids, fun things. I love the fun things, entertaining friends. It is truly living richly. And if you want to live richly, use this cooking cream. Mmm. Love them beans. And if you love tomatoes, make this salad. Make it with savory garlic cooking cream. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love Philly.